back to the channel everybody in today's video we're gonna do um, a reverse dragon scale I've never seen nothing like it I haven't seen no videos like it it's just like that last video we did where um, we make it like the fishnet stocking on the wrap um, and then we wrap it with the metallic thread to make this um, let's see to make this oops to make this type of look we're gonna do the opposite we're gonna wrap it first and then we're gonna make that fishnet stocking look I've never tried it before and we are gonna try it on camera for the first time um, ace catfishing came up with the idea he said it would probably make a good texture and give you something to grip onto on your handle um, with having it on the outside the only downfall that I see so far is you're not going to be able to lay out your rod and mark it with a marker because if you mark the threads after you put them on, you hit that thread with a marker and it's going to bleed through. So I got plenty of this pink and plenty of purple. So what we're going to do is we're just going to we're gonna give it a shot. I mean, we're gonna do it freehand, of course, because we're not gonna be able to do that. So um, you gotta be really comfortable with your wrapping uh, skills to do this. And uh, we're gonna see how it goes. Let's give it a whirl. First thing we're gonna do is wrap the whole, let me move this pedal over where I can get at it. We're gonna wrap this whole, uh, thing I am gonna um, I am gonna just get it started by hand here before I fire up this power wrapper I cannot tell you how much I like this power wrapper it does save a ton of time turns by hand here and then we'll fire up the wrapper I better move that tape out of our way all right let's go Set up a uh, pull tab. And we'll, uh, we'll try uh, Ace's technique here. I don't know if you have Ace uh, Catfishing as a, uh, if you're subscribed to his channel, but if not, um, I will leave a link in the description for you. Uh, he's the one that uh, asked me to try this. He said he thought it would be pretty cool. 
So that's what we're doing because at his request. I'm not going to waste all the thread and go all the way to this end over here that I made. It's just for the for this little demo. There's no need to waste all that thread. We'll just put our finger here to hold it. Get a little snip. That's tied off. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to freehand that that fishnet stocking look. Okay, we're gonna try this again. The rod blank is thick here and thinner here. I switched it around earlier. I just tried to do this and it did not come out right. Um, I'm gonna leave more room to compensate and I'm going to go with a bigger, um, a bigger dragon scale pattern on this one is my goal because uh, it, it did not look right. It was touching at one end and loose at the other end. So we're going to try another time to do this I do not know if we're even going to be able to pull it off but well, I promised him I would try so that's what we're going to do and we're going to try one more time gonna work but we'll we'll give it a shot here this is take two we're gonna go with a bigger pattern this time that gives us room to compensate and I'm going way past I'm going way past what I want to do on each end. I only want the, the only, I only need this stuff in the center here, but it's always better to go way past what you want to do because uh, you can close off the wrap, and uh, the ends always look a little crazy. So I always go at least a couple inches past what I really want on my rod, and then I'll. Uh, close off and cut the excess off because the ends always look crazy so that's what we're doing we're going to do in this one too I keep going across it. It looked real good last time I did it until I got to the end and it didn't look good anymore. So um, I think I uh, figured out what was causing that. I didn't go far enough past it for one. I only need a little section. If you go far past it, you have time to compensate. I can't stress that enough you have to go past what you really want you have to i've been saying that since i started doing these rods and you're never going to stop it i shouldn't say you're never going to because i mean maybe somebody's better than me that can do it and uh i uh would 
love to see how they do it. The whole idea is to learn from each other. I just try to find uh, what works best for me. And right now, um, this works best for me. So if somebody has an easier way to do something like this, uh, I am open for suggestions and uh, methods if you if you got it down show me how to do it man uh, I'm not a pro I, I uh, that's why I love rod building it's just something new every time uh, I don't document my rods um, I like to just do them my rods are not cookie cutter so every time I build a rod is a hundred percent one of a kind because I don't know the measurements that I've done my wife's always telling me you need to be more organized uh, how many millimeters did you go on that rod compared to the last rod because uh, I've had people try to buy the exact same rod that I've already made and uh, I got to go back and try to figure out how I did it because I do not document them. I do like to build one of a kinds. It has kind of uh, bit me in the butt on a few occasions when I did want to build another one like that but pretty good at figuring them out so far so good the other one looked real good at this point too the last one we did and then it, uh, it got crazy trying to keep the exact same spacing is what it is and the rod blank gets smaller as you go so uh you run out of room. So what I'm trying to do is make the tri the diamonds a little s get smaller and smaller as I go down the rod uh, by just looking at it. This has uh, been quite the experience to be honest with you. Uh, I'm sure just like anything practice makes perfect I'm sure you'll get better at it each time you do it, but uh, this has been a little tricky to do. Okay, it's not too bad for freehand. I uh, I don't think it's perfect, but um, really, what is perfect? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna close. Let's try to close this thing off. Let me get my uh wrapper back out here. We'll put this back in the center here and uh, we'll, we'll close this off. Okay.
tag end. say we can get rid of I don't know let me see if you can see what's going on here I'm gonna slide this down so you're in the frame better here all right we're gonna cut these off now Cutting, trying to cut them at different lengths. Just gonna move those out of the way for now. See, most of this stuff would be under the handle, anyways. So we're just we're just trying to. This is all just a test for us to see how it would work. And uh, by the looks of it, it is possible to do. Let's close it at this end off. Slide down to this end and uh, we'll try that again. And that don't look too bad. I'm not, I don't hate it. So we'll see what happens. Let's uh, get this one closed off here. get all this straightened out before I get off of this. It looks uh, pretty good. Let's uh, cut these off. Cut that at all at different lengths, so hopefully the thread don't jump and it just smoothly goes over them. Seems to have worked. Now we'll put our little pillow through in there. Get this out of the way. Get out of there.
would be a reverse dragon scale. We wrap it first and then go over it. And the theory behind it is just put one coat of epoxy over it so it's not perfectly smooth and it'll give some texture when you grab a hold of this and, and fish with it. I really like the idea. Um, thanks K, uh, Ace Cat Fishing for the idea. And I told you I would try it out. And I do think it'll work. I mean, this is not perfect. It was the, the I was going to say first try, but the first try was a bust. I had to widen the diamonds. Uh, everything's a learning curve. But this is the second try, freehand. And uh, I think it's uh, definitely worth doing. Thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button and uh, leave a comment if you have seen this before and if you have a, another way to do it. I appreciate you guys. See you in the next video.